Coming to university has been everything I expected it to be and more. University is the obvious choice. Coming here is probably one of the best experiences in your life. You get to do projects that you would never have dreamt of. It's an amazing experience and made me a better person for it. Yeah, I have always had a passion for motorsport. I spent most of my childhood outside in the garage handling spanners and learning things that people who are age 10 probably don't normally learn. It's always been in my family and that's sort of what made me want to do it. Originally, I signed on to a different course at UWE. I came out of my A-levels, and like a lot of people, it was the next step was automatically to go to university. And on that results day, I sort of looked at what I wanted to do with my life, and motorsport was where I wanted to go. So the passion that's always been there, I thought, I've got to go for it. You've got to try and at least live your dreams while you're young. When I was younger, I used to be in the Air Cadets. I always liked aeroplanes from that. I knew I wanted to be an engineer, but I didn't know whether or not to go to university or not. I didn't do it A-levels. I did a diploma in manufacturing, and then I applied normally through UCAS. In your first year, you can learn to fly, flight simulator. You can choose anything from an E380 to a fast fighter jet. You can clock up hours for your private pilot's license in here as well. It's up to me to fly it. It's also my fault if it stalls. <laughs> I'm currently a student at University of West of England studying Foundation Science. It's kind of like an introductory year in which they bring you up to speed on the things you may not have like particularly learned or had like a particular knowledge of doing A-levels. And it's also a way of breaking into university life. For some people it's just they're not totally sure about what they want to do within science. So doing Foundation Science provides them with so many other paths to go down in the future after that year. As part of preparing to go out on placement, we've got a fantastic facility at UWE called Simulation Suite, which is set up like a real ward. Hi there, Mr. Jones. The dummy so will be attached to a monitor well. so you can actually see what their heart rate is, what their blood pressure is. And then we go on to doing full cardiac arrest sequences where you're doing chest compressions and trying to save someone's life. But we get to put into practice our communication skills. These are great for transferring out into the real world. It's about as close to real life as you can get with us, a real person sat in the bed. What I love about robots is being able to think of something in your mind and then having the ability to go out there and create it. Our encountered robotics here at UWE was searching online and looking for something to do with electronics. And then a video popped up with the UWE and they had this robot. And I knew from then that that was the university I wanted to go to. Robotics essentially combines biology, mechanics and also arts. In the first year you start with the very basic robotics kits. In the second year you learn a bit more about how the maths and the sciences behind robotics works. And in the final year you get an opportunity to do your own project that you can just completely focus on. Studying law is definitely a challenging course and it challenges you intellectually and makes you have to work really hard. In the first year, there was more of a social side in the law degree, but as you get into third year, you don't have as much time, but still make some time to go out with my friends and have fun. The Bloodhound is a land speed record attempt designed to go 1,050 miles an hour. The aim of this is to inspire the younger generation. It's up to me to communicate what the Bloodhound is doing to all the students via social networking. I've loved being part of the Bloodhound project. Going down to Avonmouth and seeing it, it inspires me more on my course and it drives me to keep going and keep inspired. The social side of university is fantastic. There are clubs for everything and the others have social nights where you can go out and have a fantastic time with your friends. Muay Thai is quite physically taxing, so I enjoy that you get to do a lot of running and sprinting. And you also get to go into a ring and learn self-defence techniques. I have a lot of friends that do Muay Thai and I also made a lot of friends through this Muay Thai club. You get a group of about 30 people and you all work together and train each other so I also find like-minded people. I've made a lot of friends through the climbing club. You get people from every type of course really. I go climbing every Monday with my university club. It gives me a chance to just escape from all the stresses of life. The only thing I have to worry about when I'm up the wall is getting to the next clip and making sure I don't fall. <laughs> I've met so many other people here who share common interests and 
also doing the same course. I'm currently living on Frenchay campus in Cotswold Court. There are flats which each hold six people in them. Our rooms are all en suites. We have really good facilities. Two bars on campus, people go there to watch sports and some music acts come down to come perform. If you've just finished like a long day of lectures and you go down to escape and you can just have a, a quick drink with your friends and it's really nice for atmosphere to have. I've really enjoyed living accommodation. At the moment I'm working at the Bower Ashton SU bar. I really enjoy it. It serves breakfast and it serves lunch. In the evening it serves alcohol. Everything is organic and made from scratch. It's run by students for the students and it's a really good way to get some cash while you're still in uni. In the first year of university, living on campus was definitely so much fun. There was a social on every Monday night called Pound a Pint. It doesn't matter if you're down to your last five pounds, you can still go out for a night out. Sometimes when I have a group presentation with my friends, we prefer just to go to the cafe to study because it is more of a social environment and we can just grab a coffee while we're doing some work. So by meeting up in a more social setting, it's more relaxed and we still can get work done. Bristol is an amazing place. It offers you the widest range of opportunities. The music scene, the food scene, the hip and trendy look and feel and atmosphere that it has is a great inspirational platform for you to work from. Bristol's fantastic for cycling around. I cycle over from Bath. It's a really nice way to start the day because you're outside, you're exercising, you get to see nature and the university's got fantastic facilities for people who cycle bikes. All my lecture facilities, all the science labs are located within a particular block dedicated to our subject on French A campus. It's only like a two minute walk for me to get to my lectures which means I can get up extra late. I've really enjoyed this course so far. I found it like a bit difficult at the beginning and I felt that the, having the foundation year made it a bit easier to kind of break into the life and understand what the responsibilities of living on your own were like and how to control them and things like budgeting and, and making sure like alongside doing work you're also having fun at the same time and taking care of yourself properly. Initially I thought that I wanted to go into ceramics and then I realised that for the whole of my life I'd been drawing stories, I'd been making little plasticine characters and it just hit me that why didn't I think of animation before? The course is brilliant because you really get to tell the stories that you want to tell. I got really into learning how to cook from a really young age, so I decided that I would try and incorporate it into animation. The animation I'm working on at the moment is a film about two neighbours who don't realise that the other is there. I use plasticine so that I can position the model, the character, into the places and the positions that I, I need. In my first year, I won a competition to work for a motorsport team. To go and work for a championship winning team was brilliant. We started at Junitech Racing last year. We were all students doing the same year of the motorsport engineering course and to go with what we learned we wanted to do something different. Today we've been trying to set the brakes up and we've also been trialling the first run of the engine. It's been fantastic to get it turning over and hopefully by the end of the day we'll have it running. I never would have met the guys that were in the team if I hadn't come to uni. I never would have had the knowledge and probably the time to do it. So yeah, it's been brilliant. So the testing session on Saturday is to run the new engine in, which is going to be fantastic. It's all a learning ground for us. And hopefully we're going to get the most performance out of it. The conditions were a bit greasy. Things were a bit off, the camera's a bit off, the tracking's a bit off, but first testing session was absolutely brilliant. I couldn't be more pleased with it. The aim is to just have a successful car. We're hoping sort of top 10 finishes. Hopefully things should go well for next season. I'm loving my time at university. It's a pretty varied course. There's lots going on and I've got free time to come out and do things that I enjoy. The clubs and societies are very easy to access, they're cheap and they're just a fantastic opportunity to try things that you never thought you might try. Before I came to university, I was very nervous of coming, but as soon as you arrive, you're surrounded by people who are in exactly the same situation. I have a learning disability. I'm entitled to a lot of extra help. All my lecturers are aware of it, so they can provide me with lecture notes so I can actually listen to what's been said. On campus, there's a facility called the Job Shop, and they send out um, local jobs through an email every single week, and that's where I find my job as a student ambassador. 
A student ambassador is someone that can represent coming to uni. I go to their schools, they come to university, we give them campus tours, we do workshops and dispelling a lot of myths about university. I like teaching people what university is, what university involves and encouraging people because university is just the best time. I knew I wanted to do robotics, so I came in here, learnt to gain the skills that would allow me to build robots. And then after I was done with that, my lecturer gave me some advice on how to go about setting up my own business and gave me some advice on how to develop a product. We are right here inside UWE's incubation space. So this is a special room that's been set aside for us at the Bristol Robotics Lab. And this is for young companies that are trying to get off the ground. I'm hoping I can continue with my business. I want my product to be in every home around the world. For those that are considering looking at university, you just got to think long and hard about what you really want to do and get stuck in, follow your dream. You only live once, so you've got to go for it. And I think if you really find a course that you want to do, you, you won't regret it. Coming to university has been everything I expected it to be and more. It's not a scary option. You come here and you have all the opportunity in the world. If you've got a passion that you want to follow, keep doing that and then when you get to university, you just have three years of doing something that you love. Bristol as a city is a brilliant place. It's so full of opportunities, so full of contacts, so full of networking events. I definitely made the right decision. It really is a good city. Bristol is a fantastic city to study in, especially for my robotics course. Bristol is considered a, a creative hub. Bristol is also massively diverse, so if you come here, there will be, definitely be something for you. So far, it's been one of the best years of my life. Anything you want to do, I've had the chance to do it. You won't regret going to university. It's, it's probably one of the best experiences in your life. I would definitely recommend university. I think it's the best three years of your life. You have so much fun, you meet so many new people, you do work hard but you do definitely play hard as well.